The American Radiator Company was established in 1892 by the merger of a number of North American radiator manufacturers. The company expanded in the early 20th century into Europe under the brand National Radiator Company. In 1929 it amalgamated with the Standard Sanitary Manufacturing Company to form the American Radiator and Standard Sanitary Corporation. History Topic predecessors The Michigan Radiator and Iron Manufacturing Company was founded in 1888. John B. Dyer manager and owner of the Detroit Metal and Heating Works was the main promoter. Clarence M. Woolley joined the firm in 1887. The Detroit Radiator Company was formed in 1882 by Henry C. and Charles C. Hodges. The Pierce Steam Heating Company was founded in 1881 by John B. Pierce and Joseph Bond in Buffalo. The Standard Radiator Company Buffalo was established by Nelson Holland. American Radiator Company The American Radiator Company was formed in 1,891 halves from the Detroit Radiator Company, the Michigan Radiator and Iron Manufacturing Company, and the Pierce Steam Heating Company of Buffalo. The company was headed by Joseph Bond, of Pierce Steam Heating Co., as President, Charles Hodges, of Detroit Radiator, as Treasurer, and Clarence Woolley, of Michigan Radiator, as Secretary. The company made a profit of $400,000 in its first year, but was subsequently affected by an economic depression see also Panic of 1893. In 1894, Mr. Woolley convinced the other officers of the company to pay his way to Europe, whereupon he booked the sale of $50,000 worth of cast iron radiators for the Swiss capital. This was the start of the company's entry into the European market. By the following year, the company had established a branch in London, England. The company began manufacturing in several West European countries, starting in 1898 and continuing into the 1920s. The company was successful in the United States and European markets, and attracted the attention of J.P. Morgan. Morgan helped the firm to combine most of the radiator manufactories in the U.S. In 1899, the company was reincorporated under the same name, absorbing the St. Louis Radiator Manufacturing Company, and the Standard Radiator Manufacturing Company of Buffalo, and the radiator business of the Titusville Iron Company Pennsylvania. After the death of Mr. Bond in 1902, Mr. Woolley, at age 39, succeeded him as president and chairman of the board. The American Radiator Building was constructed in New York in 1924. In the 1920s the company added several manufacturing plants in the U.S., as well as expanding a distribution network. In 1929 the Standard Sanitary Manufacturing Company consolidated with the American Radiator Company to form the American Radiator and Standard Sanitary Corporation. Topic. European subsidiaries In 1894, following the Panic of 1893 and the consequent fall in demand for its products the company began investigating the potential of Europe as a market, and a sales branch was opened in London. In 1897, the company began investigating manufacturing in Europe, specifically France and Germany, countries with high trade tariffs. A branch was opened in Hamburg, which assembled and machine finished cast radiator parts shipped in knock down form. In 1898, the company acquired the established plant of Louis Cortot, in Dole, France, Dole, Jura, forming the Company Nationale de Radiators. In 1901, the company made the decision to establish a manufacturing plant in Germany, a site was selected in Schoenbeck. 
Both establishments proved successful and in 1905 the company began planning for a factory in England, and a site was selected in Hull. By 1906 the European operations were so successful that on one occasion profits generated exceeded those from the company's American operations. Much of the profit was reinvested in expansion, and the construction of new factories was initiated in Italy 1910, opened 1911, and Austria 1912, opened by 1914. During World War I the plant became an involved in war work, the Dole plant was requisitioned by the French state, and manufactured shells, the German, Italian, and Austrian plants were also involved in producing munitions for their respective states. States, the English plant agreed to supply Belgium with hand grenades, and also undertook contracts for the British state. The European operations were incorporated into the American Radiator and Standard Sanitary Corporation in 1929, forming the basis of that company's international operations. <laughs> Compagnie Nationale de Radiators In the 1880s engineer Louis Cortot developed a central heating system using radiators and boiler, and established a foundry in Dole Jura. The factory was acquired by the American Radiator Company in 1898, and a new company established as the Compagnie Nationale de Radiators, with a capital of 500,000 francs. Cortot became the managing director of the plant. The company had with low wage costs and fair productivity, resulting in a saving compared to importing products. By 1903, the plant employed 180 people. In 1905, the company opened a new factory in Dole, and the earlier factory gradually ceased production. The factory became the largest in Dole, employing nearly 2,000. During the First World War the plant produced 155 and 380 mm artillery shells, employing mainly female workers. At the end of the war, the shortage of manpower led to managed immigration of Polish workers, with a housing built for their families. During the 1920s, new plant were constructed at Clichy sous Bois, Aulnay sous Bois, and Argentoy. As a consequence, in 1932 the plant in Dole switched to the manufacture of bathroom furniture, including porcelain sanitary ware. The Aulnay sur Bois plant opened in 1923. The two main factory buildings 270 by 70 meters 890 by 230 feet were built of reinforced concrete by the Limousine Company to the designs of Eugene Frasinet. An extension was built in 1930, also by Limousine. Foundry work boilers, cast iron baths was switched to Aulnay. In 1929 a factory was opened in Damery les Lee. The factory structure was also to the design of Frasinet Limousine. From 1931, the factory was used entirely for the manufacture of radiators, with a staff of 750. In 1949, after the parent company had become involved in the production of bathroom furniture, see American Radiator and Standard Sanitary Corporation, formed 1929, the company was renamed Ideal Standard. Manufacture of radiators in Aulnay ceased in 1968. The oil crisis negatively affected the company's activities, and the plant in Aulnay closed. The Damery plant closed in 1975. In 1975, production of bathroom furniture ended at Dole. A new company Société Nouvelle Ideal Standard was established under the control of Société Générale de Fonderie and Société de Dietrich. In 1984 the company came back under the control of American Standard. Bath production using acrylic resin started in 1986. In 1996, the company Santa France was created by the combination of activities of Ideal Standard, Porcher, Peel, and Amafrance as a subsidiary of American Standard. 
In 2005 Santa France became Ideal Standard France, and in 2006 Ideal Standard Industry France. Nationale Radiator Gesellschaft MBH In 1900 the American Radiator Company decided to add a foundry to their existing operations in Germany, which had been assembling and finishing imported radiator parts in Hamburg from the late 1890s. In 1901 Nationale Radiator Gesellschaft MBH was formed in Berlin as a subsidiary of the American Radiator Company. A factory was established at Schoenbeck in 1902. The company was known under the abbreviation NARIG. An additional factory was established in Nuss and production of radiators concentrated at Nuss, boilers at Schoenbeck. With the incorporation in 1919 of the Standard Sanitary Company into the parent company, its German subsidiaries were also merged into a division of NARIG, adding cast iron baths, brass water fittings, and porcelain bathroom fittings to the company's output. During World War I, the factory manufactured shells for the German Empire. During the Second World War the Nuss factory was heavily targeted by bombing campaigns and required rebuilding at the end of the war. The Schoenbeck plant became a subsidiary of Volkswagen in 1944 and was used to manufacture V-1 rockets. The factory was supplied with slave labor from the Schoenbeck camp, a sub-camp of the Buchenwald concentration camp. An estimated 200 to 400 concentration camp prisoners were used at the plant. Other employees during the period included forced labor from Eastern Europe and Italy. The Schoenbeck facility was in Soviet occupied East Germany at the end of the Second World War. As a result, in 1950 the Nuss site began production of boilers. In 1951 the company was renamed Ideal Standard GmbH. A refrigeration company Gesellschaft die Rheinkalt Dusseldorf was acquired in 1955. In the 1960s, during the German economic boom the company expanded, with a sites in Wittlich radiators, and in Waldbrawl und Berlin boilers, radiators, acquired from the Prohan Werks. At the end of the 1960s the Wittlich site was concentrated on the production of fittings serving the whole European market. Valve production was reduced at Nuss in favour of the Clichy factory in France, and the site in Nuss became focused on ceramic manufacture. In the mid-1970s the company withdrew from the heating business, and the sites in Waldbrawl and Berlin shut. <laughs> <laughs> National Radiator Company Limited In 1905 the company's operations in France and Germany were proving successful, and the firm decided to open a factory in England. The company, National Radiator Company, Limited, was established, and $500,000 was provided for the establishment of a factory. A site in Kingston upon Hull was selected for the factory. Construction of the factory began in 1906, and the first casting was produced in December. The plant was expanded in 1910. During World War I, much of the production was shifted to the munition production. In 1917 the factory was further expanded, in anticipation of a post-war building boom. In 1934 the company was publicly listed as Ideal Boilers and Radiators, capital £750,000, in order to raise cash for a factory extension. By 1938, a new plant producing vitreous sanitary ware had begun operation. During World War II, the plant produced munitions including mortar bombs and grenades, as well as boilers and vitreous china for military use. In 1953, the company was renamed Ideal Standard 
In 1976 the boiler and radiator operations of the plant were acquired by Stellrad Group, Metal Box, whilst the vitreous china bathroom furniture operations remained under the control of Ideal Standard. Radiator production was ended at Stellrad's hull site, and production was focused on boilers. In 1989 the Metal Box Company demerged, and MB Group formed. Caradon was acquired by MB Group becoming MB Caradon in 1989 and the Hull Boiler Factory became Caradon Ideal in 1993. In the 2010s the Ideal Boilers Foundry was closed with the loss of 57 jobs and outsource casting to third parties. As of 2014 the boiler plant operated as Ideal Boilers, as part of the Ideal Stellrad Group, and the Bathroom Fittings Plant is part of Ideal Standard. In 2015 Ideal Boilers was acquired from holding company ISG Holdings 1 by French HVAC Business Group Atlantic. Recognition In consequence of the radiator's contribution to the lies, and social history of North Americans, in 2012, the American Radiator Company was inducted into the North American Railway Hall of Fame. See also American Radiator Building and Ideal House, London, headquarters in New York and London American Radiator Company Factory Complex, formerly the Pierce Steam Heating Company, Buffalo, New York, listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2015.